OK, I'm going to show you now Symphonic's Evolution controller. Basically, Symphonic's Evolution version 1.85 um, has a remote device access feature. And we've used that to create another app for the iPhone, which is uh, a controller that adds pitch bend, modulation and sustain. OK, how you activate it, it all works through Bluetooth peer-to-peer -peer sharing, of course. Um, on the top of the Symphonic's Evolution screen, you'll see there's an icon which is shaped like a musical note. And if I push that, Symphonics will start looking for attached devices. And on the iPhone, hit Connect. The two apps will then attempt to communicate. OK. I'll select the connection. It'll come up now saying it wants to accept the connection. I'll say Accept. And the two are now connected. So what does that mean? Well, Basically, I can now play um, with a pitch meal and modulation wheel. So, for example, if I play a note, okay, so you can see that's taking the place of a, um, a pitch bend controller, and that all works as if it's the built in keyboard. So, as far as Symphonics Evolution is concerned, the iPhone looks like part of its inbuilt virtual synth, and you can record those pitch bend modulation effects uh, when you're doing real time recording. Um, similarly, the sustain we've got a, a momentary sustain. And there's also a sustain hold, which keeps it on until you release. OK, so that's the Symphonics Evolution controller. And when you're finished, just press stop and I'll disconnect and you're back to normal.